about to vacuum test this manhole. We'll uh, put plugs in the uh, inlet and outlet pipe to seal off the uh, flow. And then we'll put this test bladder in the uh, top of the manhole to uh, seal the top. And then we'll hook up our vacuum machine, suck all the air up, take it to 10 inches of mercury, and then turn it off. And it's got to hold the uh, vacuum depending on the depth of the manhole. In this case, 20 seconds. We're looking for uh, to make sure the manhole is sealed, that there aren't any leaks or uh, anything that, that's uh, not visible to the eye. And uh, that way we know we've got a, a solid manhole, a uh, rehabilitated manhole. What we're doing now is inserting the plugs, blowing them up to 30 PSI for a, uh, a good strong seal on the inverse. This is the test bladder to seal the top of the manhole. We inflate this uh, test bladder so that we create an airtight environment. Then we hook up this uh, vacuum hose and we suck all the air out of the manhole. And it's a uh, negative pressure uh, test. We'll turn the uh, once we get up to 10 inches of mercury, we'll turn the, uh, we'll close the air valve, and it's got to hold, uh, it can't leak out any air for uh, 20 seconds. That's important because it creates an airtight environment and it proves that there's no leaks in the manhole. This is 10 inches of mercury. We turn off the uh, air and see if it'll hold. It does, and so we know this manhole is sealed and secure.